Machine. Hey, what's up with it, y'all? Welcome to my podcast, Cold Narratives. I'm your host, Iceberg Green. About to let y'all hear some of these cold narratives. Check it out. Hey, what's up with it, y'all? Iceberg Green in the building. Cold Narratives. So, uh, Mayor Shing Tao, she doesn't agree with the police commission and how uh, we have to choose our new police chief in Oakland. She's not with it. She She's saying that clearly on this interview. Uh, check this content out and I'll be back. Um, but I, I got to break this down because she, to me, public opinion, um, she's not doing uh, Oakland any justice at all. Um, but check this content out and I'll be back. You don't want to have any part of this. Can you explain why? Absolutely. Well, first and foremost, um, you know, having under this new process, right, it's a newish process around how we find our next police chief. That is that through the police commission, which is an all appointed civilian commission that has full authority to, um, you know, to actually uh, work with the firm to find out who the candidates could be and then interview them. And then they will do their due diligence to send me at least three names. And so this process has only happened once before, and it also took over a year to actually find the police chief under this new process. And so I wanna make that part clear that this is not a unique uh, situation where it's taking over a year under this new process. And I also know that the Oakland police chief, they he lead or she leads a critical component of my comprehensive community safety strategy. I am very grateful to interim chief Allison. However, this candidate forum, I'm invested in finding exceptional candidates for Oakland. However, a public forum does not help recruit the best candidates. Mm -hmm. Let me be very clear that this is the police commission's process. I was invited last minute on Friday to join them and I declined. See how she, you know, I'm gonna just point out this. You see how she said, um, this is not a unique situation. Lady, if it only happened two times, that's unique to me. You know, that's, that's, uh, this is the type of stuff I'm talking about. And then again, she said um, her comprehensive plan, my comprehensive plan. What about Oakland? Uh, that's what I'm saying. People come into these communities as officials and they have their own agenda. They don't think about the community's agenda. And this is an example. Okay, so I'm going to play a quick clip of um, the few candidates that they sent her because these are uh, final four that, you know, that um, she has to, you know, interview and go through the process of that. Um, but here go, a t you know, a um, quick clip of them, um, and I'll be right back. And I lead by example. I'm a person of unimpeachable integrity with strong principles, and I always do the right thing. I'm fair, I'm honest, and I'm just. And understand the importance of not always having a police first type of response to issues related to public health or other drivers that may be driving someone to be justice involved and how we can divert those populations um, to better resources and divert them away from the criminal justice system. I believe from a constitutional standpoint and a cultural standpoint, it's just making sure that you set clear lines in the sand of what will be tolerated and what won't be tolerated, and you have the proper processes and policies and procedures in place to follow up with that. And the chief has to stay on top of whether those expectations and policies and procedures are being um, pushed out correctly, and if they're being um, um, if they're being um, handled on a daily basis. Notably absent from last night's meeting was Mayor Shang Tao. She does have final say in the hiring of a chief. The Oakland mayor says she skipped last night's meeting because she believes the process candidates are being put through doesn't work. Okay, so let me be clear. Um, and again, this is public opinion. I think it's very unethical to come to a job, fire everybody, and don't even talk to anyone at all. And um, then say, hey, I'm going to fire everybody. And when you find out, hey, we have a union um, to address the situation. Um, because like I said, she got in there and fired everybody. And one thing she did do um, is she gave out that land. And you can look this up. This is public record. When she got to Oakland, one of the first things she did was gave that land and up in uh, Ohlone Park. And these are facts, you know, um, the truth. Um, so with that being said, you know, Oakland um, has a history of uh, getting these officials in there that really don't have Oakland's best interests in mind. You know, they'll, they'll give us a street, but won't give us a college. You know, they'll give us a street, but won't let us own our own liquor stores in the community. That's what I'm saying. It, it's not, it's not, it doesn't even out. There's no uh, fair balance here at all. So I'm, I'm, I'm pointing these things out, you know, and giving my public opinion. You don't have to support what I say at all. I just want you to be aware of it. Um, 
like I said, you know, and then I'll go into the truth. So this is an interview from a uh, uh, channel two news, Fox two news uh, and a brother interviewed her, you know, and, um, shout out to channel two news because she'd been getting interviewed and she'd been dodging interviews, but, um, they've been asking her some critical questions, but, um, he asked her a question about the, um, crime in Oakland and she, this is her take on it. And this is pretty interesting because it actually got debunked, but, uh, check this content out and I'll be back. So since we've, uh, implemented and resurrected ceasefire operation, ceasefire strategy, uh, we're seeing that crimes and homicides are all trending down everything from, from, from 2023 numbers. Yes. From 2020, from the last three months, mm -hmm. the last three months, you know, relative to like summer, uh, uh summer dates, right? Uh, if you compare those numbers, you'll see that there's at least a minimum of 40% in every single category, all the way up to actually over over 50%. Well, the numbers compared to last year, that's how they, they, you know, that's how we look at the numbers, generally mm -hmm. speaking. And I understand from your mm -hmm. point of view, and those numbers show violent crime and robberies have gone up when compared to the same time last year. That's not um, true. You, you don't I, think so? No, no, that's not true. I will push back on that. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to uh, the, the city of Oakland just received a grant, uh, $3,558,000, um, you know, for the California Department of uh, Social Services. This will expand the safety ambassador program in uh, downtown town and Chinatown what kind of expansion are we going to be talking about with this more yes. than three and a half million dollars? Right. For the three and a half million dollars is for a pilot program over the next three years. And so we are all starting in the downtown uptown area, but we want to expand it to Jack London Square and hopefully throughout the whole city. What this will do is allow for ambassadors to be on our streets to really help those, let's say, who are having mental health issues or what have you to get them connected to resources uh, so that we can actually allow for our police officers to go and do the crime fighting work. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. You know, they get in office and they allocate this money where they want to uptown, um, Chinatown, Jack London. Okay. Uh, what about the community, the inner city? <laughs> you going around the problem lady. Um, it's just not working. It's not working. You, you see, it's not working. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna end on this note. Um, this last content that I'm gonna show y'all is from, uh, again, from channel two news, Fox channel two news. And they came back and they did some stats on, um, what mayor Shane Tao just said. And, um, this is what they came up with. But, um, after, after this, I'm gonna end on this note, but, um, this is how politics work in Oakland, you guys, but uh, check this out. The mayor cited Oakland police stats to support her assertions that crime is down. But one thing with crime stats, it's all in the eyes of the beholder. Actually, the numbers are down, so I'm going to push back on that. Oakland Mayor Sheng Tao rejecting any narrative that crime's on the rise in her city. Uh, we're seeing that crimes and homicides are all trending down, everything. From mornings on two, Tao, citing Oakland police stats, said crime in many categories over the past three months is down compared to the same time in previous years, especially in business districts with concentrated police foot patrols and crime suppression teams. The robberies, the commercial burglaries, you know, the bipping, all of that has gone down. It's treading down. But it's also notable what the mayor didn't report. According to Oakland police stats I reviewed for the same time period, robberies are up 40% from last year, with home invasions going from 8 to 18 so far this year, a 125% increase. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I also want to say God bless those going through the struggle. Make sure you watch out for them cold narratives that the government trying to push on us, y'all. To all my black people, I will be nothing without y'all. God bless you all.